Hello and welcome to Let's Make a Game in C++. This is episode 2 and in this episode I'll show you how to make a window in using OpenGL and SDL. Uh, before we start on doing that we have to set up one more thing on Windows and on Linux. So let's start on Windows. Let's switch to our virtual machine and start up code blocks. The only thing we have to change is to add some additional linker settings. So let's up open up a project. Test project. As you can see, we have our source from last time. And what we want to do is to add additional linker settings. So what we will add is minus L open GL32 and minus L. Oops, Oh, that's it. Minus L glue 32. So look, right click on test, that's the project, properties, project build options, linker settings, and then we add minus L open GL 32 and minus L glue 32. That's required so that the compiler knows we're using OpenGL. Uh, as far as I know, OpenGL should be installed already, so you don't have to add anything. So this is what we add, this is the whole thing we have in there. And now we just test here in Windows if it works. I'll explain later. On Linux. So let's just include OpenGL. That's the how we do it if we are using SDL and let's just do a simple GL function as you can see it already finds so let's disable GL blend so that we just test if it compiles and it compiles so OpenGL works on Windows we can close the virtual machine now and we'll be doing all the work from Linux. Yes, we want to see this. And let's switch to our Linux machine. Open up your editor. As again, I'm using Emacs. You can choose whatever you want, probably get it. And open up the file we were. It seems I haven't saved it, so we'll write it again. Yes. Main.cpp. You should just open up your previous file. So let's write first of all what we had last. So we had include sdl.h so that the compiler knows we're using sdl. Let's start the main. As again, just copy this. Do not ask for what it is. It's a language specific things, so you can look it up on internet. Every main has a return function. And we do sdl underscore init sdl init everything. And sdl quit. We're just going to put the basic output and input for C++ so we can output to the screen that SDL is running yeah that this is running we just have to do the std so let's compile this. As again, save the file, open up your terminal, Emacs. I'll be using Emacs because I can enlarge a font shell. So again, ah, just a little too big. So we go G, that's the compiler, minus O. 
So we specify what the name of the executable will be. We'll name it test. Then again, the name of the file it's main.cpp, and now we have to add minus l sdl main minus l sdl, and we have to add one more thing because we'll be using OpenGL now, so we'll just add minus l gl. It's not the same as on Windows. It's just minus l gl. Compile this. SDLH no such file or directory. Oh yes, forgot. It's SDL slash SDL because it's different than on Windows. Always forget that. So let's do that again. And our project successfully compiled. If you see, we have our test file here. I'll just open up the terminal. Oh no, we can run it. So if we run it, as again, we run a file on Linux using dot slash and the name of the file it's test. And as you can see, it outputted SDL is running when it came to here, and then it quit and exit the program. So now we will include OpenGL. So we did the same thing as we did on Windows. We include sdl slash sdl underscore opengl dot h. On Windows, you do it without this. Now, there's a lot of different functions, new functions that I'll be showing today. Uh, to don't be scared, because even I don't know them uh, out of my head, I just copy paste them for every project that I use. It's just something that you have to do at the start so that everything works. I will explain every function here as much as I know. Not very complex, but so that you have the basic idea of how it works. And because I do not know every function myself, I'll open myself one of my projects so that oh just so that I'll be able to see what to do so at the start we always have SDL in it and SDL in it everything as again this in its audio video joystick even if you don't need it timer and some other things you could specify only audio but we'll use everything for now after that comes a bunch of different functions that are only used when we use SDL and OpenGL we do not use them if we use OpenGL only these functions call it SDL underscore GL underscore set attribute and then the parameter and the uh, size. Uh, with this function we set how much memory we want to allow OpenGL to use. Um, and this is a good default start. It doesn't take too much or too little. So it will run on most computers even though those very low end. Uh, even if it's not required, make sure if you make those numbers bigger or smaller that they are dividable by 2. It's not required everywhere, it's required by these two, but just to make everything simple, make it dividable by 2. So, copy paste this into every project, you'll need it. Next we want to set how the title of the window will be. So we do SDL underscore vm underscore set caption and we then just put what we want like our first game and the second parameter is new don't ask what this just the first one is important it's the name of the window and at the end we set 
how big we want to window to be. So we go SDL underscore set video mode. So we will do like 600 by 400. 32 colors. Uh, I mean the 32 color scheme. And we are going to use SDL underscore open GL. If you only use SDL, there's a different parameter here, I don't remember it, but we're going to use SDL OpenGL. If you want to go full screen, you add a full screen parameter here, but we want to do that. So SDL OpenGL. So the window is going to be 600 pixel wide and 400 pixel high. After that, we also want to specific some other things like first of all when we are drawing something on the screen we draw it every frame so like a game runs at 60 frames per second and we draw the screen 60 times and every time we start drawing from the start so that that is each at the start of the each frame we want to clear the whole screen and then draw everything on it so here we can specify the what the color is going to be used when we clear the screen so we set it as gl clear color and we have to tell what color we're going to use in in a uh, using doubles so the range is from 0 to 1 and if we want to use a uh, white color so we go red green blue and alpha uh, if you don't know how the colors work all colors are always red green and then blue and the last one is alpha but we'll come to that later for now alpha. oh my god I didn't know how to write that it's all tough. So for alpha, always put one. Don't worry with that. And for red, green, and blue, use what color you want. So if you want to go with only red, then you put green and blue to zero. If you want to go like like darkish red, so you put 1.5 for red and zero for the other two colors. But we go for white want to have a white screen when we clear it. Uh, there are two ways of putting in colors. One is from range to 0 to 1 and the other is from 0 to 255. So we, we, we could, uh, not in this function, in others, we could write 255, 255, 255 and 255 that's the same as one 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 it's just the range is different the next thing we want to set is when we have our window we also have to set what portion we want to display we usually want to display the same portion as the size of the window so we go gl viewport and then we set where we want to have our view so when we are defining our viewpoint we have to define the upper left position and the down right position so the upper left position is 0 0 and the down right position is 600 400 I'll explain that later when we have our window open but in OpenGL uh, the window works so the coordinate system in the window works so that the upper left corner is position zero zero upper right corner is for our test is 600 zero down left corner is zero because of the X and 400 for the Y and the down right corner is 600 400 so X grows from left to right and Y grows from up to down 
So when we got our viewport, we want to set the shade model. The shade model, shade model is something smooth. We want to set it to smooth. So what this does, um, it's better explained later when we'll be drawing things on the screen. But for now, uh, we want like to draw a rectangle, and we want to start it that it's blue on the left and red on the right. If we don't use GL smooth, then the color will be uh, blue till the half of the square and then red for the other half. But if you do use GL smooth, then it will gradually use a gradient to transition from, from blue to red. So it will look a much, ni much nicer. The next thing we have to do is set how we're going to have our on what we're going to draw our things in the window there are two models one is GL proje projection that's when we are going to do 2D games that's what we're going to use uh, today and the other is GL model view we use that when we do 3D things but we don't do we won't do any 3D stuff so we'll just do GL matrix mode GL projection that sets it to only 2D drawing on the screen and after GL matrix mode we have to call a GL load identity uh, what this does is like it says what we just did remember it as something as that it's not that but just we will say that it says what we specifically previously. So if you're going to use only 2D, we can disable some stuff that's used when we do 3D. So we're going to GL disable GL depth test. As you can see from the name, this tests if something is drawn behind one object or another so it doesn't draw it because that would be useless if you can see it but because we're using only 3d 2d we don't need that and that's probably all you have to do to set up a window so again we initialize everything set how much memory OpenGL can use set the name of the window set how large the window is going to be and we said that we're going to use OpenGL then we said what color we're going to use when we clear the screen then we said what portion of the window we want to display this has to do something with the ma matrix but uh, we won't explain that now then we have to tell that we want to use smooth shading so that the color uh, transitions nicely and some other stuff next we set it to only 2d that's GL projection and save it using GL load identity and at the end because we won't be using 3d you we use GL disable GL depth test as you probably noticed all the SDL based functions start with an uppercase SDL under dash and then in it or GL set attribute the GL I'll for OpenGL and all the OpenGL functions start with a lowercase GL and then the function name that is used through the whole two libraries so we have our window set up and if I'm not wrong this should already bring a window up on the screen so we're going to print to the screen that OpenGL is running and then we'll use another SDL specific function that's named SDL underdash delay what this does it delays the program for the specified amount of milliseconds 
so we we'll set it to 5000 millisec milliseconds that is 5 seconds so the window will pop up wait 5 seconds and then it will quit and let's compile this we do the same way gls g++ minus o test main.cpp and we specifically the linker uh, yes the linker minus l sdl and minus l gl uh, I'm really sorry because I oh I just can't say the word specific speci oh my god specific I just used only specific so we compile this it has compiled and now we run it minus dot slash test and it seems we have a problem again I think that the SDL delay oh yeah we haven't saved our file I'm really sorry I forgot to save it I'm usually compiled from Emacs that automatically saves for me but this time it doesn't because I compiled from another terminal so I forgot to save the file so specific the linker and we have a uh, error I forgot uh, somewhere at line 13 that is where oh line 32 Oh yeah, stupid me. Compa. G plus minus O test main dot cpp minus L S D L main minus L S D L minus L G L and it compiled successfully. Let's run it. Test. And we have our window. It will close now. So I'll just do it that it waits for me to press a button for that to use scene.get save uh, I just have to write this again uh, the next video I won't be writing the compiling I'll be doing it from Emacs so just use this sentence or this command or just press compile on and debug on Windows so we have our first game that's the title of our window and as I said it's 600 pixels wide and 400 pixel high up here is point zero zero for this function and down here is point six hundred four hundred and that's for today's tutorial the next time we're going to be learning how the basic game game logic function works how we do the main loop of the game and how we do buttons so now we can't close the program because we haven't said that it should respond when we press X or escape or enter or anything. It will run forever. That's why you should not change this to sing get. Uh, you should just put a delay here so it will close after a few seconds. But as you can see it runs. We have a window. It's true that it's not white 
because we haven't called that function to clear the screen we'll do that in the next episode when we'll be doing the uh, main loop of the game and thanks for watching and goodbye